Although there are millions of records in circulation, there's only a handful of top albums that can usually be found in everyone's collection. Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I am Jarrett New, and today we're talking about the top records that we should all have in our collections. And since we have a lot to cover, this is gonna be a two-part video, and this is part one. Also, a lot of these records I already own, but some others I still need to pick up. Now, this list is completely my opinion, so your top albums might be different than mine, and that's totally okay. But for me personally, this is the music that I love most. And if you guys wanna check out these cool records for yourself, the links are in the video description below. Now, real quick before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know that today's song of the day is All You Need Is Love by The Beatles. Also, if you have a suggestion for a song of the day, post it below and you might see it in a future video. All right, now on to the records. So starting us off, we got Pink Floyd, The Dark Side of the Moon, which is one of the most famous records of all time. And thanks to Lee Scott from the UK, I finally have a pressing from 1973 on vinyl and it sounds fantastic. So what can I say about this record that hasn't already been said? Well, basically the music on this album sends your mind on a cosmic journey of sound. And because of its timbre and excellent mastering, it's a great reference record to test your speakers or your headphones. And if you like what you hear, you should also check out Pink Floyd's The Wall. Next up, we got Michael Jackson's Thriller. So yet again, this is one of those iconic records that a lot of people recognize simply by the album cover. And a lot of people have actually bought this album even though they don't have a turntable because they just wanna frame it and put it on their wall. And I'll admit, it does look pretty cool. Now, regardless of how the record looks, the music is also classic. On the record, we get everything from, of course, the title track, Thriller, to Billie Jean, Beat It, Pretty Young Thing, and several others. Also, this particular copy is a repressing that I picked up from Amoeba on 180 gram vinyl, and it sounds great. Next up, we got Jack White's Ultra LP of Lazaretto. Now, as many of you guys already know, Jack White is both an awesome musician and one of vinyl's biggest advocates. And in 2014, when he released this record, it sold 40,000 copies the first weekend. Now, you may be wondering, why? Well, because in addition to the music, this record has some really cool hidden features. For example, there's two hidden tracks below the labels on both sides of the record. One of them plays at 45 RPM and the other plays at 78 RPM. And then the main music plays at 33 and 1 third RPM. So this record actually plays at all three speeds, which is very unique. Also, side A plays from the inside out and then side B plays from the outside in. Side A has a glossy finish, side B has a matte finish. There's locked grooves, dual grooves, and most importantly, a floating angel hologram etched into the surface of the vinyl. Also, there was absolutely no compression used during the recording, mixing, and mastering. So basically, this thing is awesome. Next up, we got The Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club. Now, this is the first record that I don't actually own, but this album is pretty important in rock and roll history, so I felt it should be included on the list. Now, first of all, the album cover on this record is very iconic, and it's probably right up there with Abbey Road. Now, as far as the music is concerned, the whole album has a really cool, psychedelic, and creative feel to it. And of course, the most notable song on the album is Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. So overall, if you're a Beatles fan, you should definitely pick this one up. The next record we got is The Cure Disintegration. Now this album is pretty awesome because it is the quintessential 80s goth rock album. I absolutely love listening to this thing at night because it just makes my mind float. It's got this really cool, nostalgic, dreamy feel to it, and I highly recommend you guys pick it up, especially if you love both 80s and goth music. This is one of the classics, and it's gonna send your mind on a whole journey. It's a lot of fun. 
Next up, we got the Jimi Hendrix Experience Electric Ladyland. And this is one I also do not own, but I had to include it on the list because Jimi Hendrix was one of the best guitarists who ever lived. And one of his most famous songs of all time is of course, All Along the Watchtower, which is included on this record. Also, it has Voodoo Child and a lot of other cool stuff as well. And if you like that album, you should also check out Are You Experienced, which has Purple Haze and Foxy Lady. Those are great as well. Next up, we got Grover Washington Jr. Wine Light. This is an outstanding smooth jazz classic that I think everyone should have in their collection. Grover was a legendary saxophonist and every single track on this album will shine through your speakers like a ray of brilliant light. And in addition to the music itself, this record was also pressed on 180 gram vinyl by Music on vinyl. So the disc itself is gonna be very high quality. And last of all, the biggest reason you should pick this one up is because it features the exquisite track, Just the Two of Us, with vocals by Bill Withers. Next up, we got Portishead Dummy, one of the best trip hop albums to ever come out of the UK. And I know that might seem like a pretty bold statement, but then again, this is a pretty bold band. And this release in particular is, in my opinion, their magnum opus. It is a real gem to listen to. Now, overall, the music is pretty chill, pretty down tempo, and filled with some good lo-fi beats. And in addition to all of that, the lyrics also have a beautiful yet fragile nature to them, which makes the music even more effective. And just like The Cure that I mentioned a little while ago, it's also a great album to listen to at night. And if you like this kind of music, you should also check out more Chiba's album, Who Can You Trust? It's not on vinyl, but it is amazing. Next up, we got Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison, which is definitely one of his most famous albums. And although I don't have this one yet, it's definitely on my list. Now, I first started listening to Johnny Cash because my mom really likes his music. And the first thing I noticed about him was that all his songs seemed to tell a story or had some sort of a moral lesson to be learned. So in that respect, his music has a real heart and soul to it. And it comes off as very genuine. Now, this album in particular is awesome because during the production of it, he was actually performing live in front of prisoners at Folsom Prison. So it has this raw energy to it that I think you guys are really gonna enjoy. Next up, we got Black Sabbath, Paranoid, one of the best rock albums from one of the best rock bands. And because it's so popular, you'll usually be able to find it in almost every record shop you visit. Now, why does everyone love this record so much? Two words. Iron Man. That song is definitely the most recognizable track on this album. And funny enough, when Black Sabbath recorded the song, they actually had no idea that there was a comic book character named Iron Man. But that's another story. Anyway, this is an awesome record and a must have for any classic rock fan. Now, this is the end of the first video. And if you guys wanna check out all the cool records on part two, that'll be coming out pretty soon. But for now, what are your top records? Let us all know down in the comments below. And if you love music in general, please subscribe and smack that little notification bell so you won't miss the new videos. And most importantly, friends, have a great day and keep spinning that vinyl. Dun 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 d